Hello, fans of John, and hello, fans of John, who are eagerly waiting my return. I am Drake, John's brother, and with me is my fiance Kelly. Hi. And we've decided to do a food review without John today for you. So if you've ever walked past your foreign food section and went through the small British section of the aisle, you may have seen Marmite. It's the close British brother of Australians Vegemite or Perlmite. Um, the only difference is the Marmite contains spices, onion, and carrot in it as well. Uh, it also tends to be a little bit thinner. I've actually never had it myself, so I'm excited to give it a shot. I personally am a fan of Vegemite. She is not. Um, so, we're going to go ahead and give it a shot here and give our opinions of this. Um, just for the basics of this, it's like I said, a yeast extract. Extract contains onions and carrots, and it's fairly salty. 200 milligrams of sodium per half a teaspoon, and we're definitely going to use more than half a teaspoon <laughs> because that's the way that it's supposed to be done. So we took a piece of sprouted wheat toast, and what you're supposed to do is take butter at room temperature, something that could be easily spread, take it and put it on the bread, like so. And you get a nice thin layer of butter. Maybe a little more just to cover that little corner right there. Like so. Not too much. Same knife into the Marmite. Can I just smell it first? Of course. So usually, see how it's kind of oozing there? Vegemite doesn't ooze. It's much more pasty than that. And this is a little bit more oozy. It looks like caramel. So you're going to want about that much. So you get a nice layer of it on your toast. Go ahead and smell. Okay. And take the Marmite. It doesn't smell as bad as Vegemite. I thought when I smelled it, and because I opened the can before the review started, I thought it smelled almost exactly the same oh, as really? Vegemite. Oh. Yeah. But then again, the last time I had it was probably when I was 11, and I didn't have it on toast. I just had it straight as. Yeah kind of gross that way. I've grown to love Vegemite when my college roommate um, bought some and told me the proper way to eat it, so I became a pretty big fan. And then, using our nice state-of-the-art butter knife technology, <laughs> we'll split the toast in to two. So you can see there we got a nice layer of Marmite, and underneath that is the butter, and underneath that is the toast. Other side of the toast is dry. And here we go. It's really salty. <laughs> it is. It's very, very salty. It almost reminds me of soy sauce if you just kind of drink kind of like a tablespoon of soy sauce. <laughs> That's what it reminds me of. But I like the taste of soy sauce, so. Yeah. Personally, I'm a big fan. Um, I wish I had Vegemite here to do one side by side, but from what I remember, and it's been, you know, a year or so since I've had Vegemite, but it tasted very similar to this. I do think there's more of an oniony flavor in this than the Vegemite had. Mm -hmm. You could definitely taste that there's something in there. Carrots, though, I don't taste. And it does say that there's carrots in here. Yeah, salt, carrot, and onion extract. Don't really get a lot of carrot, but it's definitely oniony. <laughs> it's a good source of B, uh, B vitamins. So, that's nice. I'm personally a big fan of Marmite. I think it's um, not too off, not too off from Vegemite. So without having them both side by side, I really couldn't tell you which I prefer at the moment. But I am going to eat this last piece. It's just so different. It's a very different taste. Um, mm -hmm. I don't anticipate kids liking this. I think it's definitely for adults who aren't picky eaters. So if you're more of the adventurous type, I think you would like it. But I think for the everyday Joe, I'm not sure they'll like it. Um, but it, it just reminds me of soy sauce. Is it what you remember from 7th grade? No, not at all. Do you like it? I do. I do like it. There you go. It's surprising, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, it is, actually. So. 
So it is definitely different. It's very salty. It's a yeast extract. It's got a hint of onion in it. And it is does kind of remind me of like a soy sauce flavor. And that just might be the overbearing salt. That said, I'm a fan of Marmite. And for the sake of being fair, I'm going to try it by itself. <laughs> It's really not that bad. I think I more so get the oniony flavor when I eat it by itself. Really not that bad. I'm a big fan, either by itself, but the proper way to do it is the way we showed you on toast. Anyways, it's good. I'm a fan of Marmite. I'm a fan of Vegemite, but Marmite's much easier to find. If you're walking down your foreign food section and past the little British section of the foreign food section, pick up some Marmite. This was $5.99 for the jar, so not terrible, and it's uh, definitely going to give a good kick to your toast. I would give it about an 8.5 out of 10. I would say just 8. Just 8. Yeah. 8 or 8.5. Either way, that's a pretty decent score. And uh, when you uh, purchase this, your cashier may or may not ask you if you are from the UK. Because mm -hmm. apparently most people from the UK buy this. And then Vegemite's more of a Australian. Yeah. Taste. I know where to find Vegemite. And maybe I'll pick some up next. I'm also looking for Promite. And then maybe I'll do a versus video with all three. Um, because I do like these little things. Anyways, we hope you enjoyed this special food review without John. <laughs> and hopefully uh, we'll send more in the future. Marmite.